Um, Dr. Kenneth Noisewater with a giant red boy says, uh, you're the real deal. Holy field. Good on it. Dog on it. Nick, um, real talk. What do you say about the allegations of adultery, swinging, hedonism? Uh, you let a, a straight and their lifestyle. What's your side of the whole thing? Any, yeah, anybody cool. who watched my streams over the past, what? two, three years, and says you've claimed to be leading a straight and narrow lifestyle. What the fuck show were you watching? <laughs> like, legitimately, I have no idea. Claiming to lead a straight and narrow lifestyle is something that uh, I don't know if I've ever done. Um, look, as for specific allegations of whatever, uh, you'll have to wait for the story. I can't talk about any of this shit because all of this shit wraps into someone else who's been telling a story and uh, they get to tell it. I have to wait because court exists. And unfortunately my story is tied into uh, the custody of my children and potential incarceration. So um, as for what do I, what do I say to it? Look, the, uh, the narratives out there online are much more interesting than my life has ever been, but I've never claimed to be leading a straight and narrow lifestyle. Um, <laughs> if you're talking about going to phone parties, underwear parties, uh, singing karaoke at bars with a bunch of weirdos and stuff like hanging out with Camelot, you not, your life is not on the straight yeah. and narrow. And, uh, and, uh, I resent that. I resent that. Good, sir. Well, people in the chat are like, well, you said you're a Christian and I'm like, uh, every Christian I know, um, I don't think I've like the only Christian I've ever met that leads like an actual narrow, like actual, like biblical lifestyle is my cousin, John. That is the only person in my entire life. I've met. And I'm not, like I'm not criticizing <laughs> anybody. Obviously I'm just saying that the most, the, the, the most degenerate girls I ever met off Tinder were all the Christian girls. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, you know? Um, so yeah, it's, uh, well, it's, it's weird because people say, well, Christians can't do X, Y, Z. It's like, dude, Christians do bad, bad stuff all the time. Like the, the whole point of Christianity is that you have like this grace and redemption story. And, some people say that, well, you should be trying to do X, Y, Z. It's like, well, maybe, I don't know, probably. Yeah. But you have this whole like grace and redemptive quality to it that's out there. I mean, Jesus is hanging out with prostitutes and tax collectors, both of those, you know, that uh, very scary for some people. But like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that just made me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like, if Christians just catered to the people who were on the straight and narrow path, then the church should be fucking pointless. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. Slosher says, Hey Nick, hope everything works out for you and your family before you joined Cody said years of your YouTube can be used as evidence. I'd like to know what the intern forced to watch years of your show. Thanks. <laughs> <about unbred. laughs> God, I want to know. I want to know. No, it's uh actually, so this is, uh, kind of an interesting question as to how much of my show can be used as evidence because what um, to take this into the abstract, let's take this out of my specific case, but to prove possession in Minnesota, 